welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Angie and today we're going to be cash stuffing $221. We are going to be doing the second cash stuffing of February and if you've been keeping up with my channel you'll notice that I skipped a week and that's because I started a new job and I want to switch around my schedule a bit and start uploading like on Sunday for the week that's coming up and I wasn't really able to do that in the past but now I'm going to try it. So I just got my hands on the money bag from the Aesthetic Dollar, and I love it so much. I think it's awesome. 20, 40, 60, 81, 120, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 200, 205, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. Yep, so $221. I'm gonna go ahead and set this up. All right, so the reason why you didn't see me take out rollover from my wallet is because I just moved my wallet into my A7 binder. So let's start. Gas is getting $40, so this is part of my rollover, but the reason I meshed it together is like what I just said. Um, yeah, I was totally switching over wallets. All right, spending is $10, or it's getting $10. I'm so excited to start this new job. I'm a little nervous, but it's my first full-time position. The job itself seems pretty simple, um, and I have a lot of opportunities to work like overtime if I really wanted to. So I have a feeling my cash savings are going to be a lot more interesting in the next upcoming weeks. Beauty is getting $10. So if any of you have any tips as to like money management when having a full-time job or just tips in general, please let me know because I'm a little nervous. Um, but my right now my plan is to put away 50% of my paycheck into like my savings account or a high yield savings account and then just stuff the rest. And then I'm already stuffing money into my 100 envelope challenge. So I'm saving a little more than 50%. So Beauty now has 20, 40, 60, 70, 80, $90. That is enough for a haircut plus tip. So I'm going to go ahead and book that. Miscellaneous is getting $5. Now Miscellaneous has $10, $15, $20, and $25. And then I had one extra dollar bill. I believe I'm stuffing in my $1 savings. I might switch where this is just because I don't like to carry too much money on me. Um, but honestly, I... I think I have one, two, three, four extra dollars, so I'm not worried now, but when this starts to build up, I want to put it in maybe one of my other binders. All right, so oh, this is the first time I'm saying this, but my wallet is set for the week. I'm so excited to start using this as my new wallet. Alrighty, so let's move on to this binder. Bills is getting $10. Now it has $20. Investments is getting $5. We're skipping uh, savings and vacation because, like I said, I'm going to be doing something new with this new paycheck I'm getting. So investments now has $15. Emergency is getting five. Now it has 25. Oh, and I also ordered new envelopes. So I'll be replacing some envelopes and making some new envelopes. And I'm just really excited for this new adventure, a new journey, and my new setup. All right, gifts is getting $5. And pretty soon I've been looking at... Um, different cash trays so that you could see the money like laid out and not just vertically looking on top of it. So gifts now has 10, 15, 20, and 25. Okay, so the Winter Wonderland challenge is getting two. So let me color in one candy cane. Oops. Give it one, two. 
So now the Winter Wonderland challenge has 20, 30, 31, and 32 dollars. Next is the Aesthetic Dollar Challenge, and that is getting $20 this week. Like I said, I'm saving up for some new equipment. So let me color in. Oh, I don't have that marker with me. <laughs> Let's do this. So it's coloring four binders. Let's add a 20. And now the Aesthetic Dollar Challenge has 20, 30, and $35. I didn't think that purple would be that dark. <laughs> okay, and that is it for this binder. Let's move on to the next binder. Valentine's Day is getting $20. This is just to be safe and have just a little extra money in case we go over, which I definitely don't think we will, but you never know. So let's just put in 20 and then obviously if I don't spend all this money, which I really doubt that I will, this will go towards other things. Alrighty, so now Valentine's Day has $51,120,130. Alright, St. Patrick's Day is getting $2. So let's color in one of these, four leaf clovers. Let's give it $2. One and two. St. Patrick's Day now has 10, 20, 25, 26, 27, 28. $28. Okay, I'm going to do something a little weird now, and that's because I took out denominations before I actually planned. Don't ask me why. <laughs> okay, so Mother's Day is getting $10, but hopefully if my math is right, I'm going to do something. And let's see if it works out. I have no idea if it will. And I hope you'll let me know in the comments if it totally doesn't. All right, so if my math is right, <laughs> Valentine's Day has $20 now. So if I take out this 10 and I put in a 20, I'm technically adding $10. So now I have 30. Because I need this 10 to add into Father's Day, which is next. So Father's Day is getting $10, and now I have a $10 bill to put in. Yeah, please let me know if I messed that up. <laughs> Alright, so Father's Day now has 10, 20, 25, and 30. Okay, and then the last, or two things. Black Friday is getting $10. So now Black Friday just has $20. And Christmas is the last thing we're going to stuff. And that has $40 now, giving it another $20. Oh, gosh. All right. Now let's move on to the 100 envelope challenge. Now we're gonna be filling the 16, 17, and 18 envelopes. 16, 17, and 18. Let's do it this way. I might have done something wrong, but it's okay. Let's just do our best. So 16, 17. Ah, uh, that's so funny. Okay, so you know what we're going to do? We're just going to fill 16 and 17. Forget about our good old friend 18. And we are going to figure out what to do with these last singles. Alrighty, so we got 16 and 17 filled. I'm not too worried about not getting 18. Um, you know, we'll get her another day. We have in this binder our rollover $1 bills. So 
So now we have one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. So how about this? How about we put, let's do two more in winter and two more in St. Patrick's Day. And then we just have three left over, which is an odd number that doesn't fit into any of my other uh, challenges. So I'm not gonna worry about that. All right, let's give St. Patrick's Day an extra $2. I believe we're halfway done with St. Patrick's Day. Okay, let's count it up. 10, 20, 25, sorry, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. All right, yeah, we are halfway done with St. Patrick's Day. And then Winter Wonderland is getting $2. We're a little bit ahead of St. Patrick's Day on the Winter Wonderland Challenge, which is cool. Okay. So now Winter Wonderland has 20, 30, 31, 32, 33, and 34 dollars. Thank you so much for tuning in and watching this video. If you liked what you saw, please like, comment, and subscribe. And yeah, I'll see you guys later and keep you updated on my job and hopefully have some more money to stuff. Bye-bye!